Hi, I'm Annie Botticelli, and this is the Storyteller Forecast for Libra for August 2014. I am so excited to tell you about all of the outrageous potentials for August. And first, I have some personal things that I want to share that are relevant to my broadcast. If you've been listening to my broadcast, you've known that I have been suggesting that you wait to launch your big things until July, August, September because we've had this array of um, retrograde personal planets. Well, I myself have been taking that suggestion, and I'm about to launch all manner of crazy new things, including a new device. So if you've been patient with me through listening to my Mac fan run, which it hasn't started yet, but you know it's going to soon, which has drastically interfered with the audio video quality, then your patience will be paid off. And when I figure out, when I get and figure out how to work my new device, now that the planets are in alignment for such things, then I will possibly also be mobile with my recordings. And so some things will change, but um, the spirit of the content will be the same. Now I will also be launching a new website, so check out for that because I will have new blogs and all kinds of new exciting things. Definitely want to sign up for my free email newsletter. My email newsletter people are my VIPs. You will receive lots of free goodies you will receive first and sometimes only access to cool things that I'm a part of. So definitely when you're done listening to this video, go sign up for my free email newsletter, receive your free gift, and stay tuned for all manner of awesomeness, including an upcoming event that I'm going to do through a webinar called The Astrology of 2015 and How to Rock It. So definitely stay tuned for that. Okay, so now what is up for Libra? I'm so excited. I'm excited because Jupiter is so involved with the astrology of August. I'm a Sag, so I'm ruled by Jupiter, so I tend to get Jupiter crazy anyway, but it's because of good reason, and I will share with you, hopefully you will, my enthusiasm will be contagious about this planet and the potentials for you in this upcoming month in the future. So the first thing that I want to talk about is Jupiter and Venus making a conjunction in the middle of August, around 16th, 17th, there will be, and you can, you, the, the energies for this may have been brewing, and you can sometimes feel these energies on different days than the exact day the actual transit occurs, because the energy is building, and then it's waning, and there's periods of time before and after where you may also feel this. But the actual event happens in the middle of the month there. A conjunction is the most powerful aspect in astrology, especially a zero-degree conjunction when a planet, two planets are sitting right in the same place on top of each other. You see here the Mac fan? There it goes. <laughs> anyway, hopefully it's just this last month of dealing with this. Thank you for your patience. Okay, so Venus rules love, beauty, money, artistic expression, aesthetic things, and Jupiter rules expansion, benevolence, and good luck and opportunities. So when you combine these things, the chances for expansion for anything involving love and beauty and money is just outrageous. It's really, really big. Now, in the ha let's talk about the houses that are present for Libra. This is occurring in your solar 11th house. The 11th house rules groups, organizations. It rules um, social media, um, acquaintances, teams, the internet. Um, it also rules humanitarian efforts. It rules the energy of the age of Aquarius, so anything that's community-minded, things on a bigger level to work with the, uh, a microcosm of the bigger level, which is your community or your town or your state or your country or the, then up to the world. Everything involving the consideration of everybody, the good, the greater good. So when you have this planet of expansion in the house of money and beauty and love, coming together in this way, especially in the very passionately expressive Leo, which also rules creativity and children and fun and games and hobbies and romance, then all of these factors can come into play with this energy. So some of you will go to a group meeting and wind up meeting the love of your life. This Leo energy rules true love. Super great expander coming into contact with the love planet. Big love possibilities. This is globally. But specifically for Libra, in the energy of the um, 11th house of groups. So if people invite you to things, and you are looking to be connected with a romantic partner, or you want to be dating, or something like this, definitely 
take the invites that people give you. And this includes online dating because this 11th house rules online dating. If you've had bad luck with online dating, especially if it's been in the last 10-ish to 11 months, now might be a time to try again. I say this because we've had retrograde personal planets from October 2013 through the middle of July of 2014. That wouldn't have been, for most people, the best time to start a new thing. Now, there will be exceptions among you, and that's fine. There's different things that go on in your personal charts that can trump these factors. But many of you will have tried to do something involving a friend setting you up or involving online dating or something like that, or going to groups of some sort for meeting people, and you didn't have luck because of the transit, now, especially with this transit, your luck can totally change. So go into it with an open mind if it feels like something you resonate with. That's a big possibility that where you can find the love, um, where the love can find you. This is also money. If you have been trying to fund a humanitarian effort or an organization, or you're working to fund your own project, which then will be having a bigger cause, your success comes in groups now. Okay, so if you're working for groups, involved with groups, if you are in a group, it's all big energy, community, group. Someone in your community or group is going to be assistive to anything that you're trying to do. And that's including artistic expression if you're an artist or a singer or a thespian. You, by being involved in the social scene, whether it's online or in person, and being involved just out there with people, connecting with people, so many opportunities are going to come to you through this combination. Now, many of you are going to have awesome luck in career, work, and life purpose, because although this energy is happening officially in the 11th house, the conjunction is happening at a pretty early degree of Leo, which casts some of that energy into the 10th house, which, um, because it's custody, and then certainly middle to late degree Libras are going to have this even stronger in the 10th house, but all of you will have some spirit of this expansion and the love and the beauty the money and all the bigness in your career, work, and life purpose house energy. energy. So, yay for that. Now, with every planet, every sign of replacement, there's always an upside potential and a downside potential. I always try to look at positive potentials with things. But in order to be properly um, discerning with our energy, we have to be aware of some of the negative potentials. One negative potential of Jupiter is that it can expand things to an excess that is not serving. So just make sure you don't go into anything excessively. It's okay to be excited about it and to be big, but see where you might be getting out of control or addicted to something or you know where it's, you're getting spun out with it. The uh, 11th house also rules technology, so a lot of people could get carried away and buy very expensive devices and then get sucked into that world and never be able to get out. <laughs> so just be aware. Be aware of these things so that you can really um, experience the positive potentials and minimize the negative potentials as much as possible. There's another aspect of Jupiter in the beginning of the month. It's earlier than this transit. I'm not talking about them sequentially because I was more excited about the one in the middle. <laughs> but around August 2nd, August 3rd, um, Jupiter and Mercury will be making a conjunction. Now that transit, just on its own, without something else that's happening at the same time, which I'm going to get into, that energy can rule big news, big news coming in, um, information coming in, you know, pieces of this puzzle that I'm talking about with these potentials come in in the beginning of August with this transit. Mars is going to square that aspect. So you... There's this force of something coming to squish the enthusiasm of something. In general, this is a fantastic time to become acutely aware of who you share your excitement with and how they respond and how you are affected by how they respond. If you habitually tell certain people or do certain things when you're excited and then you notice that does not help your cause, then maybe you will choose to be more discerning this month, or maybe there will be an incident that makes you say, that's it, I'm not doing that again. For many people, it's their parents. Many people have a close relationship with their parents. I think that's awesome. And also, many people have a relationship that's unresolved with their parents where there's the parents are a counteracting force in something that the child, whether they're an adult or child, wants to do. If you are telling your parents or anybody else 
habitually something that you're excited, things you're excited about, and you lead that conversation with angst or tightness in your stomach, this is your time to consider stop doing that. Also, since this energy of excess will abound with these conjunctions, this and um, Mercury rules movement, mobility, people might feel drawn to move themselves excessively. So that could mean speed. You are operating any motor vehicle or your feet or your bike. You might be drawn to excess during this time. And that Mars force that can sometimes be a very active, aggressive force can counteract your movement, especially if it's excessive movement. So just be very aware that this energy is going on so you can be you know, aware of things going on that you might, other people being affected by this that you have to watch out for. And watch your speed. So definitely watch your speed and watch your enthusiasm and see where you will be best properly placing it. That's the big story at the beginning of the month. Also, this energy can come in the form of authority figures of different sorts um, coming in to squelch your expression. I always like to make you aware of these potentials as they could manifest. And at the same time, I think it's really important to remember that any external things are really coming from the inside. So if we're not, the reason why I believe that there's more seeming control coming from government, from the world, from law enforcement, from whatever, is because people are not controlling themselves. People are not controlling themselves. People are not being accountable. I have multiple family members who have been or are in law enforcement, and I know from things that I have heard and things that I have seen that people want to make some authority figures bad. And there are incidences where people use their power not in a good way, and that's definitely, definitely true. However, if you are having run-ins with the law, that might not be the law's fault. That might be because you are not being accountable for your behavior and being accountable and discerning with how you use your energy as it relates to how it can affect other people. And this transit will very much bring opportunities to become aware of how this might be true. So if you want to shift your life experience, then having an open mind with the source of the creation of the pattern will very much assist you in shifting the energy. You are the common denominator in your experience. Something coming from outside that looks all these different ways, you are still the common denominator. It's not the other person that is the problem generally. It's you being magnetic to the pattern that the other person, you're bringing that into your field. So this period of time is an awesome opportunity to become acutely aware of the victim tyrant mentality that we have ingrained in our experience and how we give our power away to saying that someone is doing something to us rather than looking at the common denominator, which is ourselves and within ourselves. So I can't see what's going on in your chart. I would like very much to, if you're interested in a personal reading, check out my website, AnnieHelpsYou.com, or click on the link below this video. Definitely stay tuned to my website as pretty soon here I'm going to launch a brand new one along with brand new blogs. When you sign up for my free email newsletter, you will be informed about new blogs that I post, and, um, and then you'll have access to them instantly, and you'll also get access to all kinds of other free goodies, and you will hear first about this awesome event, the Astrology of 2015, and how to rock it, so be staying tuned for that, be staying tuned for my new mobile device, hopefully, where I can record without this fan running in the background. And I hope you have a wonderful August.